Hey, we've got an extra day to wait this week because the Dolphins play on Monday Night Football, so that means it's not too late to get your score prediction in. Do it now. Let me know in the comments what you think the score will be on Monday night as the Dolphins take on the Titans. We've got a lot to get to, so let's do it now on Dolphins Today. Welcome into another edition of Dolphins Today. It's always a pleasure to have you along, and we've got a new, brand new injury report to get to on this edition of Dolphins Today. I'm your host, Jake Ritma. The Aqua and Orange at 9-3 and three on the season, and looking at a Week 14 matchup against the Tennessee Titans, and lo and behold, they're almost two touchdown favorites once again this week. The Dolphins continue to be heavily favored in this portion of the schedule, but we know they've got some tough games going up. Monday night football, Hard Rock Stadium, where the Dolphins are undefeated so far this season and are 15-2 in their last 17. Really impressive there. Tua 18-4 as a starter at Hard Rock Stadium. The Titans 4-8 on the season and uh, not really a great offense. Defense a little bit better there, as you see. And that Dolphins scoring offense so close to reclaiming the top scoring offense in the National Football League. But right now that belongs to the Dallas Cowboys. But either way, you slice it. The Dolphins heavy, heavy favorites. And I want to know who you got on Monday Night Football. Let me know down in the comments. It's real simple. Type D for Dolphins or T for Titans. I better not see any T's in there. It better be all D's because, yes, the Dolphins are heavily favored. But, hey, this is Dolphins today. We love our Miami Dolphins. Now, we've got an injury report to get to. And with it being Monday Night Football, the Dolphins practice schedule a little bit different this week. So this Serves almost as the typical Thursday, but yet here we are on a Friday looking ahead with the game one day later this week. So without further ado, as we often do, we go to Barry Jackson, one of the best insiders in the game covering the Miami Dolphins. Here is the latest. The Dolphins will show continued caution with Robert Hunt and that hamstring injury. And, of course, Javon Holland with multiple knee soreness in both his knees. Is a better way to put that. And with Robert Hunt, McDaniel says they'll operate with caution day by day. And with Javon Holland, you're talking about one of the better players at his position. So we won't mortgage the rest of the season to risk it. The Dolphins were without both these guys against the Commanders. Or I should say with Robert Hunt, he re-aggravated that injury against the Commanders. But look at the production from Robert Hunt and the entire offensive line, which we've talked about at length on this program. But clean, efficient play from Robert Hunt. From that offensive line position, a pro football focus grade better than 77 in the 495 snaps that he's had. Also, like I mentioned, very clean play, just the one penalty and one sack allowed. The Dolphins' offensive line as a whole has been really good with the fewest QB hits allowed on Tua Tungvaloa in the NFL and the third fewest sacks allowed, as we saw with Austin Jackson getting extended earlier this week. The continuity has been there for the offensive line despite eight different starting rotations in the 12 games that the Dolphins have played this season. So with all that said, acknowledging that the production has been there and that Butch Berry has done a tremendous job with this offensive line, let me know in the comments what your confidence level is in this position group as the Dolphins get set to take on the Tennessee Titans. Be honest with me. Scale it for me, 1 through 10. And 10, hey, if you believe this is one of the better offensive lines in the NFL, or 1 if you think, I just can't believe yet. 12 games is not enough of a sample size for me. Something bad's going to happen. I'll tell you where I'm at with it. It's a 10. you got to give this offensive line their credit because, lo and behold, they've been really, really good. They've taken what was perceived to be as a weakness in training camp to become a strength of the team. They've been playing at an elite level and very, uh, very much as well as a uh, consistent unit on the offensive line position group and done a great job both in the run game and the passing game. So really, the offensive line deserves credit as a whole. Now, switching gears to the defensive side of the ball, Javon Holland missed that game against the Washington Commanders with the knee injuries that he suffered against the Jets on Black Friday. But he is trending closer and closer to being ready to go. But as we read that quote to you, Mike McDaniel doesn't want to mortgage the future, as he put it, in provide any risk for Holland to re-injure anything or re-aggravate anything. But he's been incredible this season. The production 
The one interception from his safety position, 70 tackles, four pass breakups, and three forced fumbles. He's been a menace, and for the opposition, one of the stronger players in the secondary that's helped Vic Fangio's defense be one of the stronger units, especially as of late. And this is interesting because what do we always say about pro football focus? It's not the end-all, be-all by any means, but Devon Holland is the highest-graded safety in all of the National Football League at uh, per pro football focus. So Javon Holland continues to play at a high level, and I think you could say the same for the entire secondary. And let's include the corners in this as well, because once Jalen Ramsey returned to the lineup, Xavier Howard got healthy, and Cater Kohu continued to have and play at an elite level. These guys have been exceptional, as have the safeties. The secondary really has been a strength for this Dolphins defense. So even with Javon Holland out of there against the commander, guys like Brandon Jones and Deshaun Elliott, Elijah Campbell, all stepped up and played really well. And it got me thinking, I was actually thinking about this the other day, but I love these guys in the secondary. They make so many plays, and they are fun to watch. So let's show some love. Who's your favorite player in the Dolphins secondary? Maybe you love seeing Jalen Ramsey. He was featured on Hard Knocks. Javon Holland showing this personality. He had the 99-yard interception return against the Jets. Cater Kohu seems like he makes a big play every single game, whether it be on a corner blitz or locking somebody down. Xavier Howard leads the team in interceptions. But high, but, or rather, Jalen Ramsey leads the team in interceptions. Xavier Howard right behind him. But you get the idea. There's a lot of love to go around for those guys in the secondary. Coming up, we've got more Dolphins injury news to get to. A couple more updates for you as the Dolphins get ready for Monday Night Football. But right now, i got to give a huge shout-out and extend our gratitude to today's presenting sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. I've been telling you about Prize Picks for weeks now, and it's real simple because by now I know you're eliminated from your fantasy football playoffs, and even if you're not, you got to play daily fantasy football because it's far and away the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports at Prize Picks. They're the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform, so you know their library of picks knows no end. And here's how it works. You simply pick more or less on a player's projected stat line. I do it every Sunday, or in this case, Monday for Monday Night Football for Dolphins Football. It adds one more entertainment element to watching the game. So here's what I'm working with this week. To a tongue of Iloa, I'm picking more on his projected passing yards of 286 and a half. Tyreek Hill, this is crazy. 104 and a half, and I'm still picking more because the cheetah, nobody can guard him. He's a human cheat code, as we've been telling you all year. He puts up video game numbers, so I'll pick more there. And Will Levis, the guy puts mayonnaise in his coffee. Of course I'm picking less on his projected passing total, and that's how it works. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And we love you and we care about you, so we'll give you a $100 deposit match. We'll also put that link in the chat of today's video as well as the description. So all you got to do is click on that link, pricefix.com slash CLNS, pricefix.com slash CLNS. Let's get into a few more news and notes on the injury front and beginning with Teron Armstead because unfortunately, I don't want to say it's his fault, but he, the guy's in the, in the news all the time for the injuries. It's been a little bit of a problem this season. It's kind of been a roller coaster. And what's interesting is he has the ability to play at the all-pro level like we've seen. And he's working through an ankle injury. And in that game against the Commanders, it felt like Mike McDaniel was hinting at the fact, hey, if it would have been a closer game and we needed him in there, he probably would have been good to go back in. But in a game that was out of balance pretty much the entire second half, no need to risk it. And I like the way offensive coordinator Frank Smith put it regarding Teron Armstead and his status. Make sure, maybe even write this one down because when asked about Teron Armstead, here's what Frank Smith had to say. He said, Teron Armstead will tell us when he's ready to play. And when he's ready to play, we'll let him play. So there you have it. Football guy, Frank Smith, just giving it to us straight and giving it to us how it is. The bottom line is, Ron's ready to play. We'll let him play. He's that good of a player. So let's play a little prediction game, huh? Let me know in the comments, does Teron Armstead play on Monday against the Tennessee Titans? Real simple, type Y for yes or N for no. Now that we've gotten through our injury news and updates, how about a little fun? 
all week we've been talking about Tua as the MVP and Tyreek as the MVP, and for, and for good measure, because both these guys certainly are compiling resumes that would warrant an MVP trophy in the NFL. Tyreek Hill on pace for over 2,000 yards. Tua Tagovailoa leading several categories statistically. He's also the quarterback of a team that's in first place in the AFC. And as historical data would tell us, the quarterback that finishes that his team finishes first has a really good chance at the MVP. But this, that, and the other, here's why Tua is the MVP. I love this. Tua is a man of the people. So if you've watched Hard Knocks, you know that from week to week, the Dolphins like to give out cakes. Who doesn't love cake, right? So if you force a turnover or you're protecting the football, you earn a cake. And it's one of those, it's one of those awesome cakes. You know, it's not just a run-in-the-mill cake. It's one of those fancy cakes. And this from a member of the media with the Dolphins saying that Tua was the one that when he received his cake, he gave his cake to the media. How about that? Like I said, it's one of those fancy cakes, right? You got the picture of Tua on there. And rather than keep it for himself, Tua was a man of the people, and he gave it to the media and let them indulge and enjoy the cake from the Miami Dolphins. And I don't know about you, but that would make my day. Tua, that's a guy doing MVP things right there on and off the field, taking care of the beat writers of the Miami Dolphins and providing them with cake. So do it with me. Show some love to the one and only Tua Tagovailoa, number one on the field, number one in our hearts. He is him. Type Tua in the comments because he's taking care of the Dolphins media by giving them cake. Who doesn't love cake? All right. Monday night football, you know what that means. A watch party on Dolphins today. It's going to be electric. You're not going to want to miss it. We've got some special giveaways as we always do. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because you don't want to miss a thing. And as Coop reminds me, we love you. We care about you. That's the motto on Dolphins today. We don't want you to miss anything. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But all seriousness, shout out to Coop on the ones and twos. Appreciate everything he's got going for us on Dolphins today. And have a wonderful rest of your day. As always, we've got daily Dolphins video for you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time on Dolphins Today.